What's up everybody, Donald Ponce here with another video. Today's topic is gonna to be on yield farming, how to add liquidity, how to stake, and how to farm on Smart BCH. If you are already a Smart BCH user and you're already farming on Smart BCH, you can skip this video, but feel free to share with any newcomers who might find this information useful. Okay, so without further ado, let's get started with our very first dex on Smart BCH, which is Miss Swap. Uh, up top, you can see that there's a swap, pool, farm, stake, and analytics tab. Um, to view all the farms that MissSwap has to offer, you would go to the farm tab and you would take a look at all these pairs. Uh, the first pair, as you can see, is missed WBCH. In order to farm in this pair, you, you would have to um, buy some mist with your BCH and you do not have to convert your BCH into WBCH. MissSwap does that automatically for you. You can just pair your mist with BCH normally. So let's go back to the swap tab and let's buy uh, 0 0.01 BCH worth of mist, which is equivalent to 231 mist. So we would buy our mist, we would press the swap button, confirm the swap, your MetaMask wallet will open up, and over here we press the confirm button. If you need information on how to set up your MetaMask and how to move BCH onto Smart BCH, you can check out one of my previous videos, which is the hop.cash video. I'll have it linked in the description. And um, now we have our 231 missed. Fantastic. To add it to liquidity, we would simply hit the liquidity tab. We would hit max on our missed. The 231 missed appears and it pairs it automatically for you with an equivalent amount worth in BCH, which is 0 0.009. So here we would press confirm adding liquidity. We would confirm the supply. Keep in mind if you are doing this for the very first time, it will ask you to approve a contract first. That is okay. You would approve the contract and then you would uh, confirm adding liquidity. Excellent. So now uh, we have our mists and our BCH paired. And you can see down here that it says 231 mist paired with 0 0.0099 worth of BCH. So now we can take this liquidity and we can go to the farm tab and we can go to miss BCH and click the max button over here and press stake. And once again, we would confirm the transaction on our MetaMask wallet. Fantastic. And now we have our uh, missed and BCH farming in this pool, earning 73.48% APR. Great. And down here, you can see that it's already harvested less than 0 0.001 uh, mists. If we want to remove this um, liquidity from the farm, we would simply go on the other side, press the max button, press the unstake button. Once again, approve the transaction. And that's it. You have removed your liquidity from the farm. You're no longer earning rewards and you have it back. And then finally, we'd go to liquidity over here, go to the remove tab, press max. Uh, you would approve the contract then you would press confirm withdrawal and you would split your liquidity back into BCH and MIST so you can have that readily available for you. Fantastic. So we have, uh, we have covered now how to add liquidity and how to remove liquidity. Now, what happens if you want to stake your MIST instead? Well, you would go to the stake tab and over here you hit the max button once again and you would press confirm staking. And staking simply converts your mist into X mist. X mist and mist are the exact same token, except that the X mist token receives rewards from the dex itself. Uh, the dex fees get rewarded to the holders of X mist. And as you can see up here, yesterday's APR for holding X mist was 2.49%. People hold X mist if they don't have any mist to pair with their BCH to enjoy some of the farms. So if you don't have any BCH readily available, it's best to just convert your mist into X mist and at least earn some rewards in the form of uh, this APR. Okay, great. So we staked our mist and we have the equivalent in X mist. And to unstake it, we would simply go to the unstake tab, press the max button, and then approve uh, confirm withdrawal. Great. So now we've covered farming, and we've confirmed. We've confirmed. We've uh, we've done adding liquidity, removing liquidity, how to farm, 
and how to stake on Miss Swap. Fantastic. Now we can move on to a second DEX on Smart BCH, which is Tropical Finance. Tropical Finance currently has the highest APRs on all of Smart BCH, as you can see over here in the farms. And um, the, the trading tab is on the left hand side, unlike Mist, which has all the tabs at the very top. So to trade on Tropical Finance, you would go to the trade tab, you would hit the exchange button, you'd give it a second to load. So let's wait for that here. Okay, perfect. And now we have uh, the BCH and we have, we can get Daiquiri and we can get one BCH worth of Daiquiri. I don't actually have that much on my wallet right now. You would connect your wallet up on the top right, MetaMask. You would uh, connect up and like that. And then once again, it's just like Mist. You can swap uh, for any currency you want on the list and you would go to liquidity. You would press the add liquidity button and you would pair your BCH with whatever currency you want on this side. And down here, it'll show your LP tokens and you can just, you know, pair with whatever. I don't currently have anything to pair with. However, uh, this is how you would add liquidity. If you um, went to swap and you purchased uh, a token to pair with. And then finally, you would take your liquidity that you've added and you would go to the farms and you would approve one of these contracts and start your farming. Okay, fantastic. Uh, next dex would be BenSwap. BenSwap looks exactly the same as Tropical Finance. You would go to the Trade tab, Exchange, and then you would go to, um, you would exchange your token, then you would hit Liquidity, Add Liquidity, same as Tropical Finance. Tango is the exact same, it's a clone of MissSwap. So once again, to add Liquidity, you would just go to the liquidity tab and add everything here. Follow the exact same steps as you would on MissSwap. Then there's the 1BCH DEX. 1BCH is a little different. And uh, it, it's one of the lesser known uh, DEXs on Smart BCH. However, sometimes I, I do urge everybody to always go through all the DEXs and compare the APR. Sometimes you can find some good deals. Over here, you can see that there's a 417% APR. There's a 954% APR over here. However, very low liquidity. So if you're dealing with very low amounts of money, you can still enjoy these APRs and get them since nobody nobody is moving any liquidity over. And to uh, add liquidity over here, you would go to the exchange tab, you would select uh, a currency that you want to buy, then you would go to liquidity. Once again, you press add liquidity, same as these other DEXs, you add the two tokens that you want to add liquidity to. And then once you have everything set up, you would go to the farms, and you would pick a farm to enter and you would enable the farm and you would add liquidity there. There's also the sprinkler tab where you can do enjoy staking and you would simply choose one of these pools to stake um, and just add uh, a token. Over here, you uh, you can deposit uh, RBCH, I believe, and earn RBCH. And over here, you can uh, stake your RBCH and earn NARETH, and you earn 513% APR. And finally, the last um, DEX on Smart BCH is Milk, another very not so popular decks on smart bch but you can use it and uh it looks exactly like ben swap as well you would go to the exchange tab choose whatever you want to buy and go to liquidity and add liquidity and do the same thing and once again i urge you to compare farms on all these dexes sometimes you can find some really good deals uh in the apr compartments and finally, before we wrap up this video, I just wanna address one more question that people have for me about farming in general. And they ask me usually like, what is impermanent loss? I've been hearing about impermanent loss. What happens if the value of my token goes up and I am in my farming pairs? Like what happens if I'm enjoying this 500% APR, but my daiquiri goes up double? Uh, do I end up getting the rewards of the token increasing? So let's show this to you on really easily. Like, If you want to know more about impermanent loss, I do urge you to Google it and you'll probably find some more information on there. But really quickly, you know, let's put a BCH and FlexUSD pair very quickly. 
and so I can explain this very easily. Let's say you decide to add these two to liquidity. You have one BCH and you have Flex USD. Flex USD never changes in price because it's pegged to the dollar. It's a stable coin. So one BCH is equivalent to 445 Flex USD roughly. And let's say the price of BCH doubles. Now one BCH is worth a thousand Flex USD. What would end up happening if you had this in liquidity? was is you would lose some of your bch because these two pairs have to always be the same right bch if you have one bch up top you need one bch worth of flex usd on the bottom if i put two bch there i'll have 900 flex 890 flex usd on the bottom if i put five bch here i have to have 2225 flex usd on the bottom right they're always equal so if bch goes to a thousand dollars but flex usd stays the same i would lose some of my bch and it would go to flex usd i would get i would get more flex usd but i would lose bch because the two pairs have to be the same so then if bch continues to go up i have less bch that is gaining value because some of it has moved on to the flex usd side so that's how i would explain it in very simple terms obviously if you want to know more about impermanent loss uh, definitely Google it. However, um, impermanent loss is not as big of a problem on smart BCH as one might think because these APRs are so high that it usually it covers your impermanent loss and then some, right? Usually impermanent loss is a, is a problem when you're dealing with like this 10% 10, 10 APR, you know, 5% APR, maybe 20% APR. But at 300% APR or 73% APR, your, um, your risk is a lot is a lot less of um, of of losing out on so much profits. Now, however, keep in mind that if if both of your coins continues to go up in value, you won't actually lose any money. Uh, you won't lose you won't lose money. Like your your money will continue to grow. It's just that you could have made more money if you were not farming and were just staking instead. Or just holding the to the token, you know, if the, if your if miss was to go a hundred percent up in a day and you're farming at seventy three percent APR, you probably would have done better by just holding miss instead of farming for the seventy three percent APR for the day. But APR is basically a long term play, right? You're basically saying I want to earn seventy three percent of my money over the course of the year, and I'm okay with that with making that profit, right? Making that amount of money. However, if miss were to double today, you would miss out on some of those gains. However, you would still you would still earn a, a, a decent amount of money, but you could have made more if you were just holding uh, missed and not farming it at 73%, you know, if it, if it doubles. And that, that's how I can explain in easy terms. Once again, I, I, I urge you to, to do your own homework on a permanent loss, uh, see how that affects your farming pairs. But... Uh, I, I do love and I do enjoy farming on Smart BCH. It's, it's how I've earned uh, so much money. I've able to, I was able to to transform 10 BCH into over a thousand one hundred BCH in the course of the last three months, and it's been thanks to farming and staking on Smart BCH. And um, I do urge everybody to give it a try. And um, I think that's all I wanted to cover in my video. Uh, thank you all for 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 watching. Please be sure to like and subscribe. Leave any comments down below of what I can do for my next videos or any, any other questions or concerns you have for me. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.